Um, right, let's move back to the heavyweight, shall we? Earlier on, obviously, we spoke about Tyson Fury versus Dillian White. Wembley Stadium, 94,000 people. Frank Warren was on the show talking about that. We obviously heard from Tommy Fury. He's going to be on the undercard. Uh, we are now hearing uh, that uh, the date, which was originally the back end of June, is going to be the back end of July. Uh, for the rematch between Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. We've said countless times on this show uh, that Alexander Usyk should be given in as much time as he wants, um, given the fact that he took arms during this conflict between uh, Russia and the rest of the world. Obviously, him being a Ukrainian, he went back home to defend his country and stand with his fellow country people uh, during this uh, time of crisis. Uh, and uh, the boxing world should have allowed him to, uh, to crack on, as they did do, rightfully so. But he has made the decision himself. Uh, that he will uh, continue with his uh, boxing career and the rematch with Anthony Joshua is looking likely to take place at the back end of July, July 23rd, I think, at the date uh, that he's been floated around at the moment. Uh, and the Middle East, as we spoke about briefly on last weekend's uh, show, Gareth, uh, it's looking like highly likely that it will be the Middle East because of the amount of money involved in that site fee. $120 million, we're being told. Yeah, um, £92 million. Pounds, uh, I, I'm... I'm quite open about this and very transparent I, I i don't agree with it going to saudi arabia if it does go there i i, I think obviously i'll go there and co cover the fight but i just think you know when when you hear the harrowing accounts of alexander usik about um neighbors being dragged from their homes in kiev where he was obviously serving in the territorial um battalions um we've seen the pictures of him you know and he went home didn't he and then he left for poland to go into go into training camp you know you know saudi arabia is in its own war with yemen and you know there are all kinds of um atrocities going on you know in 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 ukraine but there there also are in other places and i think you know business wise obviously it makes sense but i just Think and I and I'm influenced. I think by my interview with the Klitschko brothers, in which they were yep. saying they agree with him going abroad. But let's get the messaging right. Let's mm -hmm. go where they can talk about humanitarian situations. He's, you know, he's going to he's going to look a little bit. Um, it's going to look enigmatic if he's if he's making those signs and making those signals and saying those things in Saudi Arabia. So, you know, I mean, look, you can make all kinds of arguments against all kinds of governments for different reasons, but I just think I, I, I wanted the fight to come to London. Um, it's not formally finalised. They're in final negotiations mm -hmm. over it. But as we know, boxing is a sport, but, it, but a professional boxing, particularly the heavyweights ad, is a business and yeah. money talks. I'm concerned um, for Usyk, if, if, if I'm honest, because... It must be incredibly mentally taxing to, to, to get yourself ready for a heavyweight championship defence of this magnitude. Obviously, the former champion's going to be coming guns a blazing, isn't he? He's going to want uh, to get his straps back. And if your mind isn't fully on the task ahead, listen, I'm sure it will. He's an elite athlete. We're talking about a guy that's been to the Olympic Games and taken the top spots uh at the very highest levels and he's he's done it on uh, in multiple weights in the professional game I, but it must be very difficult gareth you know he's going through a, an awful lot mentally with everything that's going on back home family at risk and various things like that and now going into the gym and preparing himself for for a fight of this magnitude i, I I just hope that we get the very best, Alexander. Well, That's for, what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, I hope he's taken his family to Poland with him. And we don't know about these details because yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they're not made public. But obviously, they've smuggled him out and he's, he's gone and he's in camp. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I, I think... Look, obviously, he's going to worry about any family members who are there. Um, I mean, we're all worried about people there um, in, in that situation. We, we all worry for them and with them and support them. But I, I think... He's not going to forget those skills overnight, in my view. I think it it it, it may be I don't I don't use the word welcome um, distraction, but a distraction that is good for him. Um, yeah, and I, and maybe I, you're right. Maybe and, right. But yeah. like I said, it but again a different focus, a different yeah, focus, a different yeah. focus. But 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 also as as I say, one of the. One of the strong, powerful points for him to go and do that is to, is to say, I'm Ukrainian, this is my flag, I want my anthem played. Um, and look, he's got, he's got the boxing gifts over Anthony Joshua. What he doesn't have is size and power over Anthony Joshua. We'd all love Anthony Joshua, certainly, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking from a British perspective here. We'd all love to see Anthony Joshua face Tyson Fury in another huge fight. Um, 
at Wembley Stadium. So we 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 we'd lo- we crave that contest, but. You know, it's a very difficult fight for Anthony Joshua still, and, and he can he has to take every advantage he can, but if he fights in the right way, he can defeat uh, Alexander Usyk. But it's a very difficult situation. Nothing's finalised. You know, we, we, hear, you know, we work inside the industry. You hear all kinds of rumour mill. It's done already. It's, uh, I'm not going to publish it's done till I know it's done. When, when Eddie Hearn says final negotiations, and, and that's what he told me and a group of other media guys yesterday... Uh, and they expect to announce it in the in the coming ten days. Um, you know, I think they are close to it, and he and he was hinting towards Saudi Arabia. So it looks like it's it's headed there, and, and that July twenty three date, I'm, I'm told, is is fairly accurate. So what what it also does, by the way, Adam, is the fact that um, Fury and White. Tyson Fury and White are fighting on April the 23rd. May, June, July, three months between the two big heavyweight fights. And that that puts out of sync mm. the unification fight uh, or the, the, the undisputed fight, pushes it to very late summer. And that suggests that might go to Saudi or the Middle East as well. Mm. Uh, I fully expect the announcement to be during Fury White fight week. You know how this game works, Gareth. Yep. <laughs> um, I, I've Listen. Like, like I said, we, when we get that information, you'll hear it here on TalkSport. So, uh, so make sure you stick with us.